Welcome back to Get Connected. I am Eddie LePet, and today we are here with entrepreneur, young mogul, best-selling author of Blessings and Miracles, and an incredibly engaging woman, Ms. Shashika Tyree Hill. It is wonderful to have you here today. Thank you so much. Awesome. Well, I, I can tell you folks that as soon as Ms. Hill walks in the room, she brightens up the entire <laughs> place. So it's no, it's no question why you've had so much success as an entrepreneur. Tell us, our viewers a little bit about yourself. Well, I'm the CEO, the president of Miracle Home Care. I have a total of seven locations here in the state of Georgia. I also have a, a adult day health here in Georgia as well. Brunswick, Georgia is where I started from. Yeah, so what you didn't tell them, self-made millionaire yes. off of a $720 <laughs> tax refund check. Yes. Tell us a little bit about that, how that came about. Well, um, be, my grandmother, first of all, motivated me to start my own home health care agency. And that's what I wanted to do. So when she passed, I wanted to go ahead and pursue that. Um, I didn't have much money. First of all, I only had a ninth grade education. Wow. So I knew I had to do something. So I, I called around to find out what I needed to do so that I can go ahead and pursue my dreams. And when I called the state um, of Atlanta, they told me that I had to have a high school diploma or a GED. So then I went and got my GED. Um, I took my income tax, which was a little bit more than $700. Um, but by the time I did a couple of things with the money, I only had $720 left. So that's what I invested into Miracle Home Care. In the midst of what you were going through, how could you identify that, hey, there's a reason I'm here? Well, it, I'm, I'm not going to lie, it, it, a lot of prayer, you know, and I talk to God a lot. And, you know, I, the different things that I went through in my past and, and even overcoming those things, I knew that God had a greater purpose for my life. You know, it was just that I needed to find that thing. And it was like I, I would get into one um, job and that wouldn't work out. So I go to another job, that wouldn't work out. And I was like, oh, maybe this is not for me. Maybe I need to become my own boss. Wow. You know, so that's what worked. <laughs> what, a great, what a great lesson for us. Get fired a few times and then get <laughs> fired up. That's that right. Sounds like a great, yes. sounds like a great motivational yes. speech right there. Uh -huh. So tell us a little bit about that. Once you find your purpose, how does a person that once they know what they want to do, and then they backslide like you like you did uh, apparently. Mm -hmm. How? What do they do? What is the one thing they can do to get back on track and have the type of success that you've had? Ooh, you you have to stay grounded. For, for first of all, um, it's going to be so many things that's going to sidetrack you, but you have to be determined no matter what, and you have to say, okay, I'm going to face this, I'm going to do it, and I'm going to complete it. And once you get those three things, then you can, you'll push through it. And know that nothing comes easy. Nothing comes easy. Absolutely. As an entrepreneur, mm -hmm. not only do you have your family depending on you, but you have your business family depending, depending on, on you. Mm -hmm. And oftentimes we see entrepreneurs go out there and they're more motivated to increase their own personal wealth. Mm -hmm. Is that something you talk to entrepreneurs about when you go out and consult with businesses? No, my, what I talk to them about is, you know, you, you have to build a, a foundation, first of all. And it's not about you, it's about the people. You know, um, when, you, when you have a business, of course you want to brand it. But at the same time, you have to make sure your customers are satisfied, your employees are satisfied. So it's not really about you, it's about everybody else. Awesome. Is, is that the top priority, people? Yes. And if you go into a business and you're doing some consulting, you mm -hmm. find out that people are not the top priority. How do you handle it to help them change their business? Wow. First of all, if I get a call and someone want me to come in and do business coaching, it's because their business is not doing well. And that is the reason why the business is not doing well. Customers are always first. You know, you have to treat your employees right, you know, because if your employees are not happy, your customers are not happy, then you're not going to have a business. Now, when I was reading the book Blessings and Miracles, I told you already it was very difficult for me to put down. <laughs> there was one chapter in there where you talked about this tea special ingredient tea oh, yeah. that help move a certain <laughs> process forward. Mm -hmm. Tell us a little bit about that and tell us how we might be able to add that to 
uh, what we do uh, in our own personal professional lives? Well, I was pregnant. <laughs> Not, I'm kind of a little shame about it. But I was ready to have my son. Um, and it was hot. So my mom was telling me about this tea that my grandmother had that will help me induce my labor. Mm -hmm. So um, I called her up and we went over to my grandmother's house. And, my, you know, I was probably, I want to say about eight months. And, um, you know, when I went in, I said, well, Grandma, can I get some of that tea? She said, oh, no, I'm not, you know, old school. I'm not going to give you none of that tea. You're trying to have that baby. You're going to have to wait your turn. So I said, well, Mama, get the tea for me, you know. So she got the tea, and my grandmother went on in the back room, and she said, hurry up and drink the tea. So I drank the tea, and me and her went walking around. We, we probably did about two laps around the, uh, the block. Soon as we got finished, my water broke. I was like, wow, that's some powerful tea. <laughs> Absolutely. I mean, we need to know what that tea is all about. Actually, that's a great analogy for what you do mm -hmm. for businesses, individuals, and young folks that you talk to now. Mm -hmm. You help make their water break. You help make get the process started for them. Yeah. So tell us a little bit about, uh, about that, how you do that, and why it's so important to you to give back to your community and the people around you. First of all, I think it's very important for um, motivation um, and, and to let people know I can use my life as an example. I always use my life as an example. Um, you can be successful no matter what. For an example, seven hundred and twenty dollars, and in two thousand and ten, I made my first million. I'm a multi-millionaire. This, these are the steps I took. This is what I've been through, and I use what I've been through as a stepping stone to get to where I'm at today. Absolutely. All righty. Again, here with Shashika Tyree Hill multi-millionaire, mogul, entrepreneur, motivational speaker, and overall just a wonderfully engaging and charismatic woman. Tell us where our viewers can find your book at and find out information about you. I'm on Amazon.com. The name of the book is Blessings and Miracles. You can also go to my website, ShashikaHill.com, and I'm going to spell it. It's S-H-A-S-H-I-C-K-A. H-I-L-L dot com. And I'm on Facebook and Twitter. It's Shashika Tyree hyphen Hill. So be sure to go to those sites and look me up. Absolutely. It has been a pleasure. Blessings and miracles. What a wonderfully engaging book. Entrepreneur, best-selling author, multimillionaire, consultant, motivational speaker. She does it all. Turns $724 into multi-million multi dollars. We need to get a part of that. I know I do. <laughs>